All right, so hi everyone. My name is Ovi. I'm a first year medical student. Today, I'm gonna show you around this room and welcome to Ovi Med. All right, so I hope you're all doing great. So let's start off by the bed area. All right, so my bed right here, the in terms of dimensions is 120 centimeters by 190 centimeters um i think uh what they call this here is a uh simple double bed or something like that i don't know i'm not sure uh, we don't have these kind of dimensions back in uh, north america so um yeah like our double beds would be slightly bigger than that because i don't really fit in this one uh my feet are like off the edge at night so um especially if i'm sleeping like on my stomach so yeah that's that and then um the bed sheets didn't come uh with the room so i bought those off of amazon and then you have this little cushioning uh all around the bed so that's nice so you don't hit your head like when you're watching a movie or something on your computer so that's great or that you don't smash your computer into the wall because um it happened to me that i just dropped it uh, against like the wall and it was this cushioning so that was great <laughs> All right, so going back to the bed, because I forgot to mention something right here under the bed, there's actually a lot of storage area. So that's great. Uh, it's not all that deep. It's about like one forearm length, if you can call it that. Um, so currently I don't have all that many stuff in here. I have some gloves and some masks in there. Then in here I have uh, my box for uh, my converter, which is right here. And then over there I have uh, some stuff for laundry and uh, different pillow sheets and stuff like that. And then also, uh, finishing off with the bed, uh, underneath the mattress, there's like a big section that you can just lift off uh, a piece of wood and you can put your suitcase in there. So that's really nice, it's really big. And now moving on to the right side of the bed. Um, so right here we have this nice uh, little table uh, with two shelves. I'm not using it much because I don't have uh, all that many things really that I brought from home or I'm not all that intense into decorating as you would have seen my walls are just plain and empty I'm not even sure if you're allowed to like put pins and stuff in the wall because um, you know imagine if everyone who's staying here would just put pins on the wall you know the wall would be like completely destroyed so um, yeah whatever I've seen like some other people um, through the common area window that uh, some people like have plans and um, you know a few photos here and there. Maybe they put it with some tape. Hmm, maybe I could do that. Yeah, whatever um, So then right here we have this cool little lamp um, So yeah, I don't really use it all that much because I Don't know. I don't read in bed at night. So Whatever, but it's here if ever you need it um, Then I have these light interrupters. So this one right here is for the light in front Here is for the light up here and this one is for the light at my desk so there you have that. And then, yeah, this is my cable situation, which I'm not really proud of and I don't really like, uh, honestly. So uh, I bought this converter box because um, uh, as many of you might know, I'm from Canada. And so our plugs are not the same as they are here. So uh, this is the kind of plug that we get in America, just like that. And here, the plugs uh, that they have is this thing right here. So obviously, um, you do need some sort of converter or adapter uh, and stuff like that. So this is exactly what this box is for. Uh, there you go. So um, what gets annoying is when I have to plug this in right here on the side of my computer, then there's this thing right in the middle of everything. So like it did happen once that I just kicked the thing and the plug came up the wall and like, yeah, it was just a mess, but whatever. I'm probably gonna figure out like another way to put it. I also have plugs right here uh, at my desk, but yeah, we're gonna come back to the desk a bit later. So now if I just turn you around. Um, so right here we have the windows, uh, which are quite large, honestly. Um, this right here uh, on the ground is not a window. Uh, as you can see, it's just uh, black. I don't know what it is exactly. It seems like it's kind of a window, but it's just tinted and yeah, it just doesn't do much except that cold end, but yeah, whatever. And then this window right here, you can open it in two ways. So you can just flip it open just like that. 
or else you can just close it then close this little thing right here open this here and there you go it just tilts like that so that's really nice what's less nice though is um the location i guess some people would argue that it's a really nice location really good place because it's uh, right next to the center of Dublin. However, this intersection right here is really busy and it gets really noisy at times. And you know, especially when I'm studying, uh, sometimes it is hard to focus unless I have my headphones on, which is uh, a must if you're going to study in a big city. So yeah. And then another thing about the window is these two blinds that I have up here. So I have a full blackout blind, which is this one back here. And then I have another one, which is, uh, which is just like a dim blind, if I can call it that. Uh, let me show you. So this is the first one. So as you can see, it lets uh, light through. So usually I would use this uh, when there's a sunset or something like that. And I would just get like sun rays onto my computer and that would just be annoying. So, you know, I would just put this down. And then at night, uh, when I'm going to sleep, then I would use the full blackout curtain. There we go, this one. And this blocks out all the light completely. All right, then falling out in this direction, uh, right here we have uh, this really big mirror. So this is great, you know, in the morning when I look at uh, just to make sure I don't look too bad. So <laughs> that's great. Uh, and then right here we have this really big closet. So let me just show you um, what's inside and how big it is. So there you go. Uh, here I brought uh, a few hangers from my house. Um, so yeah, you have quite a lot of room. Yeah, and then there are these jars in here and I just have my t-shirts uh, and then in the corner right there, I have my vacuum cleaner, which is really nice, and my dirty clothes bag. Then up here, I have my anatomy lab coat. I have some shorts and some polos. And so yeah, nothing much more interesting than that really to say. Now then, moving to the bathroom. So one thing that was really important for me, especially in these times uh, with COVID and everything, was really important for me to have my own bathroom and shower. Here we go. So right here we have the sink with a nice little mirror. Uh, I think that this is kind of fancy. This is kind of cool, you know, the light that goes around. Uh, you have a little uh, outlet here for shavers. Uh, I have no idea what kind of plug this is, to be honest, but whatever. Um, so yeah, then you have toilet bowl and, and then you have these little shelves, which are really handy. Um, so we have these nice uh, shower heads. This is like a, a rain thing. I don't know how it's called, rain faucet or something like that. Um, so yeah, there's not much to say in here, um, you know, there's just a shower, it is what it is. So yeah, that's from my bathroom, there's a, a fan up there at the top, so that's useful. Um, Alright, so now then, coming to the desk. Alright, so in terms of the desk, uh, well, here is the setup that I currently use. I have my computer linked to this monitor right here, it's a 22 inch, I think. And yeah, it's just really useful for productivity. Usually I would have my slides on one and then I would have like the recording and then my notes uh, on the, uh, I would just split the screen in half and that's just uh, the best thing ever in terms of productivity. And you know, instead of just changing from like one page to the, to the other and then coming back and forth, you know, it's just annoying. Um, so yeah, and then up here, uh, I have these little baskets uh, that I bought. So uh, in here I can put literally everything and anything. So that's just really useful. And I have a few of them, uh, as you can see right here. It just helps with keeping everything organized. And speaking of keeping things organized, this thing right here, it's a lifesaver, like honestly. Uh, I, there's like all these little dividers and I just put my notes uh, like by module in each divider. And then here I would usually clip my to-do list. Uh, I don't have one yet for today, but yeah, I'm gonna need to do one uh, later on, that's for sure. So yeah, that was uh, a little bit uh, about my room, but now let's take you outside to the common room. Um, so right here, we can see we have a big stove um, with a fan right here. Then we have uh, a microwave with an oven. That's really nice. We have all these storage spaces. Um, this is mine. Uh, and then we have a big fridge uh, with a freezer right here. Um, then there's this nice table that we have to eat. We have two couches. And then here's the view towards the uh, central part of the residence. And then you have all the rooms right here in this hallway. And if we come out of my apartment, we have the elevator right here, which is great. Um, and then we have the central view right there. And so right here we have the central square space. Uh, currently there's not much going on since 
uh, you know, due to COVID, most of the common spaces were closed. So yeah, now let me just show you the laundry room real quick. So there's nothing too, too interesting in here, uh, except what I think is really nice is that these machines, uh, you can connect them to your phone and then you can see uh, how long time there's left for the washing or uh, for the drying. So that's nice. And you can also pay with your phone. So that's really cool. It's really convenient. And then something else that you have in here is a study room. Uh, I think right now it's closed uh, due to COVID, um, but I think you can book it. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to ask that out. Uh, but yeah, I don't really need it since I just study in my room and I'm fine with that. So yeah, let's just go back to my room and I'll conclude this video from there. All right, so overall, I think this place is great. Honestly, you get uh, like good amounts of privacy and you get your own bathroom and shower. For me, that was the most important thing and also getting a good study space. Um, speaking of the study space, the chair that we have uh, is actually quite comfortable. And yeah, not all that much padding, but it's still pretty comfortable. So that's great. Uh, and then something else about this place is that Wi-Fi is included, heating is included, everything is included basically. Uh, but that's why the price is a bit higher. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, this place is great. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, and if you didn't watch my previous videos, um, such as Productive Study Day in the Life of a First Year Medical Student or Best Pre-Med Major um, for Medical School, I'm gonna be putting a link to these um, right here on the side, so please go and check it out. If you have any questions or wanna see something in particular about my room, just leave it down in comments or send me a DM on Instagram at OVMed, and see you in the next video.